Hey, this is Cantalus from the Phoenix Realms Minecraft server, and this is going to be the first in a series of tutorial videos on how to set up a Minecraft server. This one, I'm just going to do it right off of my computer, and we're going to need a couple of things to get started. We're going to need the server.jar file. So here at Minecraft.net, we go to Play Minecraft Beta, Download, and we're not looking for the EXE, we're looking for the Minecraft server.jar. So snag that one and go ahead and download that. And we're going to need Bucket. So uh, here, I'll show you how I got here. This is Bucket.org. And at Get Craft Bucket, that's going to take you to the nice little page for setting up a server. And I'm using Windows, uh, specifically Windows 7 64 bit. But here's the instructions for the various operating systems. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this latest recommended build. You're going to need to download that and save it. So I've got the two of those files right now in a folder that I've made just off of the C drive here, Minecraft demo server, and here the two of those are. Now we're going to need the batch file that we'll use to stop this and start, I mean, this thing. So fortunately, they've got one here nice and handy for us. So we just go ahead and copy this and, like the directions say, open it up in Notepad. And I'm going to change out this program files with percents around it to the spot where program files is on my computer. And it's going to have the x86 in there since this is a 64-bit operating system and Java on this is 32-bit. So we're going to go ahead and save as run.bat. If you're not familiar with batch files, they're a very handy way of kind of automating things a bit. So close this out and back to our folder here. We double click on run.bat. And it's freaking out a bit, saying that it can't find a bunch of the files, and that's because it hasn't made them yet. So it goes out and makes all the files that it needs. Um, some ones of note, like we've got server.log, that's where all the log files will end up, so that's a handy one to have, uh, take a look at, in case something goes wrong. And ops.txt, you're probably going to want to add your Minecraft username to that, because that's the like super users for this. And then we've got the plugins and world folder. It just finished making our world, and then the plugins folder is where we're going to be putting the plugins after just a bit. So going to go ahead and conclude this as the first video. That's how you get a server up and running for Minecraft with Bucket. Next, we'll look at installing a plugin, and in so doing, have to install MySQL.